my grandfather's uncle was in Peel and he was caught by the press gang. They were marching him down along the prong, along the quay to lock him up. They were probably locking him up in some of the places, the underground cellars there. Uh, so his mates, some of them were in the net loft on the quay. And they shouted down to him in ranks, hey Tom, where are you going? Oh, he said, these sods have got me, they're going to take me out to sea, you're going to lock me up. Ah, he said, why don't you throw them in the harbour? Aye, I'll do that just now, he said. So anyway, when he got to where they were going to lock him up, he set about them, he knocked one in the harbour, and he broke his back because the tide was out. He laid the other foot out and took the keys off him and opened the door where the other fellow he'd already, he'd already had uh, captured three or four other young fellas already locked up. So he let them out, opened the door. So he came home and he thought, well, it's no use going to stay up in the yard. He'd be a hunted man. Now this field in those days was covered in gorse. And when you think about it, from here, he'd be able to see the, the English ship out in the bay that they would be transported away in. Yeah. So. He, he lived in the, there must have been big, big tall, high gorse bushes here. He lived in the gorse for about a month. And my great grandfather was about six or seven at the time, and he actually fed him in the gorse every day. He fed him so they reckon a young fella of that size wouldn't be noticed running about the country. Mm -hmm. Now that was fine, but at one stage they did come looking for him, but he saw him. Coming, I don't know where he was, but he, or it was he was given. Somebody tipped him the wink that there was they were on the lookout for him. Anyway, this fella came after him. So what did he do? He up and he killed him, and and, and I reckon that's the stone he killed him with. <laughs> so what does it say? 1825. And his initials are on the back. T C. And what was his name? T Tom. Tom. Tom Cannell. Can that's him. I reckon that's the stone we killed him with. He killed him. And what was he going to do with the body? Well, that house wasn't built in those days. So, there was a lot of rough gorse and things down there, so we buried him. Just handy. He wasn't going to tell the nephew what he'd done with him, so he buried him. So, when they come to build the house 25 years later, that's about the right time, yeah, 25, that, that's 1825, so about 1850 they built that house. Mm -hmm. When they were building the house, in the foundation, uh, when they dug the foundation, they found a skeleton, and he had red hair in his skull. And that's the skeleton, that's the fella that he got, he knocked, he, 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 he knocked on the head down here, I reckon. And uh, anyway, they built the house on top of him, didn't shift him, he's still there. And he's still there, even today he's still there.